Hi everybody, Dave Matthews here at Champion Trading. What we're showing you today, this is an Erie's drop through style metal detector. And it's kind of unique. It starts off over here with a vibratory pan feeder at the top of the machine, which is feeding product in. Of course, it's stainless. It's got a full dust tight cover. It operates off a small vibratory control right here. We did discover that the toggle switch, it turns it on and off, is broken, will need to be replaced. Following that, material is fed through, usually in a free-flowing powder form, through a standard um, a magnetic uh, a bar magnet type here. So right there, you can see this is a small little washer I have in my hand. Sticks on there pretty well. The back of it, on the rear of it, Jim, you go around that side, you'll be able to see the bar magnet does come off the back of the unit. You'll see there's some little small Desteco lockdown clamps to hold in place. They put a seal in, in the former owner. Uh, material then, of course, there's a cover over this. Material is continually fed down and through the detector you see right here. Um, if you come around this side in, in checking everything out on the unit, you'll see the boards all lit up and you'll see that we have two terminals marked right here, these two dark ones. Uh, when it does detect metal, it is sending out a 110 volt signal. Assumably that ran to uh, some type of diverter to divert possibly contaminated product away from the main flow as it continued to uh, do that. We're going to test the detector right now and we're testing a variety of different metals. We're going to show you what we're going to be doing right here. And get a look here. Uh, main screen is operating here. Um, back to the main menu. It's in a setup mode right now, but it's still going to detect some metal. So we're going to show you what we're going to do here right now. Just to give you an idea of physical size. We're just using some small pieces of metal off uh, a lathe. This is a, a ferrous metal, steel material. Just going to drop this through. Jim, if you take a look on the screen right there, let's see if we can see. We'll see this. And ready. Got it. And you can hear it detect. Let me try a couple more. Here's a piece that, let me just show you, it's just slightly smaller. Let me try to drop that through. These are pretty small, maybe about two millimeter. Saw that one too. Let me try some, uh, some other metals here that we have ready. Here's, uh, this is some small pieces of cut 14 gauge wire. See has copper in the center. See if we can see this. You got on your screen, Jim? Mm -hmm. There we go. These uh, probably measure about two millimeter. There's one more. That's pretty nice. And then we have some stainless here. And as a sample today, let me just show you, put the penny in here. These are some small little tiny set screws. And I actually took the minute to measure them. They measure about 2.75 millimeter in, in diameter and three millimeters the other way. So this is stainless. Ready, Jim? Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. So as far as we can see, it's detecting all metals. Naturally, like most detectors, it will have to be balanced. We can, it's not something that we can do. People who specialize in them, that's what they tend to do. We're just making sure the unit's in good working condition, everything's operating on it. Nice. We have lots of other metal detectors in our stock like this. We hope you'll visit our website at www.champtrading.com. We have almost 3,000 pieces of equipment in process and packaging for the sanitary industries. We look forward to speaking with you. Thanks for joining us today.